everybody, it's Dave Neufeld for the Best Buy Canada blog and I'm back again. Today I'm taking a look at this next base dash cam rear window camera. So of course um, dash cams are fine and good and a great thing to have in your vehicle. They see everything in front, but uh, what do you do when something happens behind you? Say you get rear-ended or something like that. Um, obviously front facing dash cams aren't going to pick that up. So uh, what we have here is to supplement your front facing dash cam, a rear window camera. And this particular next base um, rear window camera is compatible with a number of their front facing cameras. So you can see here on the side, it's compatible with the 322, 422, 522, and 622 GW model of uh, next base dash cams. So um, I'm gonna install this in my vehicle and we'll take a look at how that works and how, how it operates. But firstly, I'm just gonna crack it open here and see what's in the box. Okay, so when I pull it open, basically I've got the rear facing camera here. And then it's got a little, obviously, a little sticky adhesive uh, uh, pad to, to fix it to your, your rear windshield. And then I've got what looks like a really long cable. So obviously this is designed to connect with your, in conjunction with your front facing camera. And they've given you a lot of cord, I'm guessing, obviously, so that you can run it through the length of your vehicle and connect it to the front facing camera. So, uh... Now that I've got it unboxed, I'm going to get it set up in my vehicle and we'll take a look. Okay, so I've got the rear window camera set up in my vehicle now. You can see I've just stuck it on using the adhesive sticky pad mount. And the camera itself connects to the mount actually by a magnet. So it's easy enough just to pop on and off in case you need to take it out. And you don't actually have to unwire the entire thing either. There is a connection right here. So this small strip of wire goes to the camera and you can unplug it there and remove the camera if you need to. So I've run it through the molding of my vehicle. You can see here it's going through the where the rear, rear windshield meets the meets the top. Um, my truck, it just happens to be a little loose here, so I've used just a little bit of fun tack. It's pretty well hidden in there, but just to get it to stay there, I've just had to push in a little bit of a of fun tack material to keep it in place, but uh, that'll just vary, vary by vehicle to vehicle, and it's really only right there after that, then I've got it running nicely, basically all through the top of the vehicle. It's going to go along the top, down here, and just along the top where I actually have the front camera set up. And of course, with the rear camera, you've got some extra slack. Vehicles are different lengths, obviously, so they've given you quite a long cable. For me, I've just kind of bundled up here and hidden it behind my rear view mirror. Um, when I'm actually in the driver's seat, I can't really see it that much, so it doesn't bother me, but um, you may want to hide it differently. Um, when I set it up initially, I ran the cable from the back to the front. Perhaps if I'd run it from the front to the back, I might have found a better place along the back to hide the extra cable, but uh, I didn't do that this time around, but I'm not too worried about it myself. But for you, you can obviously figure out your best method of hiding the extra cable. Um, so the camera come the cable comes down here that actually plugs into the to the next base camera right on the side here this camera is the 522 GW model and I'm going to go around to the driver's side quickly Now basically, now that I have the rear window camera plugged in, I can just turn on my next base front dash cam. And you can see now that I've got a little picture in picture and sure enough, there is the rear view. And of course, even though we're seeing two separate videos on the same screen here, the front picture and the in window rear picture, uh, when you go to browse the files on on the SD card, you'll find that, of course, each video is its own. So you won't actually have a video of 
the two screens together, you'll have separate uh, video files for both the front and the rear video. Um, but basically, that's the rear, uh, next base rear window camera add-on in a nutshell. It's a really nice addition to the to the uh, front-facing camera, um, and it's very easy to install. It incorporates nicely into one convenient uh, unit, one convenient package, and uh, uh, does a great job of keeping an eye on what's behind you in addition to what is in front. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for you today, so be sure to stay tuned to the Best Buy blog for all the latest in technology. See you next time.